David A. Sinclair's Lifespan, Why We Age, and Why We Don't Have To, is a groundbreaking exploration of the science behind aging and the potential for extending human lifespan. In this meticulously researched and thought-provoking work, Sinclair presents a compelling argument for the possibility of slowing down or even reversing the aging process. Through a combination of scientific research, personal anecdotes, and philosophical musings, Sinclair takes readers on a journey through the complexities of aging and the promising avenues of research that may hold the key to a longer and healthier life. One of the central themes of Sinclair's book is the idea that aging is not an inevitable part of the human experience but rather a process that can be understood and, to some extent, controlled. He argues that many of the ailments and diseases associated with aging, such as diabetes, cancer, and neurodegenerative disorders, are not the result of chronological age itself but rather the result of the gradual deterioration of cellular function over time. Sinclair introduces readers to the concept of epigenetic changes, which are alterations in gene expression that occur as we age. He posits that by understanding and manipulating these epigenetic changes, we can potentially slow down or reverse the aging process. Throughout the book, Sinclair draws upon his own research and experiences as a scientist to illustrate his points. He discusses experiments with mice and other model organisms that have shown promising results in extending lifespan and improving health in aging animals. He also shares personal anecdotes about his own efforts to implement the principles of longevity science in his life, including taking certain supplements and practicing intermittent fasting. These anecdotes add a personal and relatable dimension to the scientific concepts he presents. Sinclair also delves into the ethical and philosophical implications of extending human lifespan. He raises important questions about what it means to live longer, whether our society is prepared for a population of individuals living well beyond the current average lifespan, and the potential consequences for issues such as overpopulation and resource scarcity. These discussions encourage readers to think deeply about the implications of longevity science beyond the confines of the laboratory. One of the strengths of lifespan is Sinclair's ability to distill complex scientific concepts into accessible language. He avoids excessive jargon and uses analogies and metaphors to help readers grasp the intricacies of cellular biology and genetics. This makes the book suitable for a broad audience, from those with a background in science to those with a general interest in health and aging. While Sinclair's enthusiasm for the possibilities of longevity science is contagious, he is careful to emphasize that the field is still in its early stages, and many questions remain unanswered. He acknowledges that there is no magic pill for eternal youth and that much more research is needed to fully understand the complexities of aging. In conclusion, Lifespan, Why We Age, and Why We Don't Have To, by David A. Sinclair is a thought-provoking exploration of the science of aging and the potential for extending human lifespan. Sinclair's combination of scientific expertise, personal anecdotes, and philosophical reflections creates a compelling narrative that challenges our assumptions about aging and offers hope for a healthier and longer life. While the book leaves some questions unanswered, it serves as an inspiring call to action for scientists, policymakers, and individuals alike to invest in the pursuit of a longer and healthier human lifespan.